Okay, so welcome back, and I'm so excited. This is Tina from Artsy Smartsy. I just love Hi. that name. How oh, did you thank come you. up with that? Well, I'll tell you, ever since I was younger, all of my friends would always make fun of me and say, you are so artsy fartsy. <laughs> but my husband, the very conservative one, wouldn't let me name the company artsy fartsy, so we are now artsy smartsy. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> well, tell us all about it. You know, how did you start? Sure. You know, who are, who's interested? Or just tell us about it. Well, I'll tell you, artsy smartsy was a total accident. I actually have training as an architect, and I've owned an okay. architecture firm for the last 10 years. Okay. But my grandma, two years ago, was put in assisted living, okay. and she didn't know anyone. And the only thing I knew to do with her was to bring art to her every day. Okay. And so day after day, I, I have to be honest, I ran out of things to do with her, to talk to her about. Yes. And so I thought, well, I'll just bring a little paint. We'll okay. paint. Okay. And then I kind of tricked her and I said, Grandma, we have to go out in the community room so we don't get your apartment messy. Right. And we'll paint there. And all of a sudden people kept coming and people kept coming. And <gasps> for the but first year of Artsy Smartsy, I didn't make one dime. And I provided art services to all of the seniors in my grandma's location. Okay. And yep. she gained friends and yep. had people to eat lunch with. And oh. it, it was a wonderfully social thing for her. Oh, that's wonderful. And okay. since then, Artsy Smartsy has grown to now teach at 28 locations. Awesome. We teach for the Wilder Foundation. We teach for Augsburg College. Okay. We teach some children. We do events. So it has grown out of control and I no longer do architecture. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Now when you say um, Augsburg, mm -hmm. what as a college course or? Actually Augsburg College has a program called the Augsburg College of the Third Age and it's programs for senior citizens. Okay. Who are, I believe you have to be over 55. Okay. And you can contact Augsburg College and you can set up a class in lots of different, you know, in sciences, in history, and I'm the art teacher. Oh. So you can set up um, programs and we come to you. So if you are at a senior living place, let's say you're at a Presbyterian home or something, um, we actually bring the program to you through Augsburg College. So that's just one of the areas that Artsy Smartsy provides classes. Wow, that is so cool. Yes. So you can't do all of this yourself. No. So how if somebody wanted you to come to them and, right. and volunteers, or how does that all work? That happens very often. We're all get an email or a phone call from a senior who has seen the website, artsysmartsyclass.com, and they'll say, I've always been artsy. I haven't done art in a long time. How can I join in your classes? And just until this month, we were only providing classes at senior living homes. Okay. Independent homes, assisted living homes, memory care homes. Um, but starting next uh, January or so, we are going to be providing community classes at the Hennepin County Library System. Oh. We also have provided some classes at the Fridley Community Arts um, Program and through the White Bear Lake School of Art. All right. So we are out there in the community now more. So if you were 20 or if you were 70, you could, you know, sign up through Community Ed. Okay. But mostly Artsy Smartsy provides classes to seniors in assisted living group kind of residential environments. Awesome. Yeah, it's really fun. Okay, so now what are all these treasures that you have? <laughs> well, one of the things, when I talk about what I do, a lot of people will say, are you doing those pom-pom magnets? Oh. And are you doing crocheted toilet seat covers? And I say, <laughs> yes. absolutely not. <laughs> Um, I teach seniors whether they are full capability, I mean I mean someone that's 55 and you'd think they were 20 and they can mm -hmm. do anything, mm -hmm. to people who are blind, people who have access of only one hand, we do fine art only. Okay. So for example, this is a painting of Starry Night yep. by Van Gogh. Yep. All of our seniors, when I come in and I say we are teaching Van Gogh today you're going to paint like Van Gogh. Yeah. They go, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, you are. You're going to do it. I promise. This right here is a silk painting. It's called Batik. Oh. And it's a very, very um, ancient technique of painting on silk. Oh. This is weaving. You would think that as people get older, um, yeah. their dexterity yes. Yes. Is, is in question. And, you know, anyone can do anything for an hour. 
So I teach and you know some of them will say I can't I can't do that. And I said yes you can. You can do it and mm -hmm. I can help you. Mm -hmm. And everybody leaves with a scarf. Nice. Um, this is a fun project that most seniors decoupaging is kind of I would say kind of a new mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And this is a piece. It's a a, a cigar box that's decorated as a purse. Yeah, they love that. Um, we also do mosaic tile. Right here is mosaic tile on a vase, but we also do it on mirrors, on just mm -hmm. little boards, on trivets, sure. on stones that go out in the garden. Oh, yeah. Um, and then weaving. This is a very, very, very miniature version of how we weave, and we actually weave that on a hula hoop. <gasps> really? Yes, that's weaved on a hula hoop. And the reason it's weaved on a hula hoop is because when you have a circle this big and your spokes are what you're weaving in and out of, the holes between the spokes are this big and even a blind person can feel oh. between right. those spokes. So we tend to teach things that are the same technique you used when you were 10, 5, 15, 25 but it's kind of adjusted based on the abilities of seniors. Interesting. This so from the hula hoop. Yes. From the hula hoop, we create kind of these spokes in oh, fabric. Okay. And then starting from the center, you tie a piece of fabric and you weave it all the way around and you just go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, all the way around until it's done. Okay. I taught that lesson. You may have seen that at the Uptown Art Fair. Oh, really? This, yes, this summer. I didn't get there this year, but that's oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. The partner this year at the Uptown Art Fair was MinCan, which is the Minnesota Creative Arts and Aging Network. Oh, okay. And they had a big expo, and it was everyone in the community that provides art to seniors. Nice. And I was showing how to weave on hula oh, hoops there. Sure. So that may look familiar. Oh, my gosh. Most of, that's a very small version, but most of the things I weave are huge rugs. Big oh, rugs that yeah. people can use. That would be great, mm -hmm. yeah. So most of the products that I make with the seniors are things that they can use in their home, mm -hmm. they can give as a gift. Okay. Um, you know, and it's really practical for them. For example, card making. Mm -hmm. Seniors are of the age where they didn't have the internet. They're, right. they're not sending information like we do now. They still love to send handmade things. Oh, yeah. E so evite or whatever exactly <laughs> no evites for them but um so doing things that they really could use and give to their loved ones is something that's important as well okay and we'll and that's a decoupage glass vase that vase we've done we we do with every single class that's the very first lesson that i do with everyone oh and it's because it's so easy okay i had a lady who was totally blind and she wanted to do a white vase and she couldn't see a thing but she finished her whole white vase i put the glue on for her okay. she picked up the pieces flattened them out laid them around the vase oh how nice and i'll tell you a lot of people think that seniors don't have the ability to do these things and they all do uh-huh they all do and so your question even goes back to how do i get help with these folks. I mean, I have 260 students every month now. Right, right. And the great thing is that each at each of these locations, it is amazing how the people who work at a press home, at a sunrise, um, they have volunteers all through mm -hmm. the building that actually fight to come to art class oh. and help that day. <laughs> I bet, yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of people who I meet while I'm at a class and they say, oh, can I come and help you prep materials? And I'll say, that would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, I need someone to cut 500 right. little pieces of squares, right. which, you know, can be time consuming. Right. Um, and you definitely don't go into this for the money. You go into this <laughs> because you love, yeah, the love of working art. <laughs> with these people and yep. you love art. Yep. And so it's been through the help of volunteers and especially people who donate materials. Uh -huh. You know, people who donate cigar boxes, yep. people who donate glass vases. Okay. Um, that all of this is possible right. to these people because a lot of the times they have very limited yes. to zero extra income. Right, right. So my goals for next year. Okay are to bring all of this. Most of this program has been easily brought into the larger Presbyterian homes. You know, I keep saying them, but 
they have the money, they have the funding mm -hmm. to do it. Recently, I've gone to, I didn't even know these existed, it's called a HUD home oh, okay. for senior citizens. Yep. I didn't even know they had them for senior citizens. Okay. State assisted homes for seniors where there is not one penny to bring these people to the theater, to mm -hmm. give them art classes, to have music. There's zero. Mm -hmm. And so I've been working with different foundations, different groups to bring art to these people because okay. they're the ones that really need it. Okay. You go there and you see, you know, there's a need there. Right. And, and that's why I really encourage anyone in the world who, if you have a little extra time mm -hmm. and you know how to cook or you know how to sing or you know how to work a sewing machine, go to your local senior home. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. they're, when you start looking for them, they're everywhere. Yes. And there are so many people there mm -hmm. that just would love to tell you their story. Right. And they would love to learn how to make muffins. And they would love to do these simple, simple, simple things. Mm -hmm. You know, bring your children there when they're not sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, there, there are so many people there that really aren't getting the time from their families. Maybe they don't have families. Mm -hmm. um, and anyone out there who has a little extra time and a little bit of something, you know, bring it to them because it would really be a life-changing situation for them. Well, that is awesome. What would you like our audience to know? about Artsy Smartsy. <laughs> well, I would like you to know, in addition to what, what I was you just said. saying, mm -hmm. that um, everyone should really become involved with our seniors. The senior population is going to double in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And right. the homes out there are just growing out of control. And there is so there are so many people there that could really just use a friend. And Artsy Smartsy came by accident, and now it's been the most wonderful thing that ever happened to oh. me. And I know I'm not going to be the only one. Mm -hmm. I know there's someone else out there providing dance, providing music, providing anything to these folks because they're the wisest people in our community. They know the most. Mm -hmm. They have the most wonderful stories, and I hate to think that all of their stories are going to disappear with them. So I think providing their stories through art, through music, right. through poetry is just the most wonderful thing. Yeah. So um, if you would like to donate any art materials to Artsy Smartsy, the website is www.artsysmartsyclass.com. A-R-T-S-Y-S-M-A-R-T-S-Y class.com. Thank you so much. My name is Tina.